What's up guys, welcome back to RC Voodoo. Today I have another remote from Radio Link. It is the RC6GS. This is a six channel remote with um, two three-way switches here, get the push button here, and the dial switch here. Um, let me go ahead and turn it on for you. Oh, that's not how you turn it on. Think about the menu. Okay, to access the menu, you will press both end buttons. It'll bring up the menu, and then you have the um, the the plus and minus buttons to cycle through the menu. So, of course, you've got your language. You can set up to 10 different models on this. Um, so, of course, you would need extra receivers for each vehicle you wanted to control, but you can set up 10 different vehicles for this one remote. Uh, your endpoint adjustments, your steering exponential, steering speed, uh, throttle exponential, throttle speed, ABS, acceleration, your idle up for all you guys that run nitro and, and gas RCs, sub trim, reverse, dual rate, I'm not sure what ATL is, premix, your auxiliary channel, and name, Alarm, gyro, which this is just like the RC4GS that I recently done a review on. Got an amazing gyro in it. Um, and FS, I'm not real sure what that is. I'll have to look in the book for that. And then, of course, just reset default. So... We're going to do a range test on this. Um, you've got your data port right there. Here's the on off switch. Um, you know, we're going to take it out. This is basically just like the RC4 GS, except it has the extra channels, um, which is really good for controlling winches, light bars, uh, you know, anything, you, any accessory you can think of. I've even seen winches set up on the dial knob so you can actually work your winch forward and back at a slower or faster speed. So you can barely creep your winch or you can crank your winch all the way. So I've seen, seen the winch set up on that look really good. Uh, really nice remote. And like I said, I have the 4GS already and now the 6GS. Um, so we're going to go do a range test on this and see how far we can drive before we lose, um, lose signal. So stay tuned for that. All right, we're going to do our range test and see how far we can, uh, get down through it. We got a pretty good straightaway, so we'll see what we can do. Right there, lost it. So, pause it and let me walk it off. All right, guys, you saw it. I um, I walked off 147 steps, and if the average step is almost three feet, so that's that's close. You know, that's around 145 yards, something like that. So, uh, and you got to remember that. Uh, Creighton is a one-eighth scale and it was so far out that I really couldn't even tell You know what direction I was facing so I would never want to drive as far as this thing will give you range 
um, you know, unless it was an airplane or something like that. But um, it definitely will take you further than you can physically see to drive. Uh, and like I said, that was a big RC. That was an A scale, you know, a tennis scale buggy or something like that. Um, you couldn't even go that far because you just simply could not see because this thing gets such a decent range. Uh, very impressed with it. Um, really, really nice remote. Um, guys, I will leave a uh, link in the description for this. Uh, so if you're looking for a nice six channel remote with mix, you know, it's got, um, channel mixing on here. So, um, if you've got tanks, um, you know, anything, uh, where you would need a channel mix, like a boat with dual motors, um, where as you turn to the right, it will overpower the left motor and underpower the right motor if you're using dual motor steering instead of a rudder for instance um, it does have uh, mixing channels so that's another great feature so guys thanks for watching and we will see you next time